Well, headaches, nausea, blurred vision, that can be symptoms of a traumatic brain injury. And in today's Healthy Living, Jamie Tompkins digs deeper into the impact of TBIs and what you can do to lower your risk of getting one. In today's Healthy Living, we're focusing on traumatic brain injuries, also known as TBIs. March is Brain Injury Awareness Month, and according to the CDC, TBIs affect millions of people in the U.S. each year. Falls are a leading cause, and older adults are at an increased risk for sustaining a TBI. As Dr. Randall Chestnut explains, a traumatic brain injury impacts how the brain works, and there are three main types, mild, moderate, and severe. The important thing about brain injury is it's not about life or death, it's about quality of survival. So it isn't, it isn't like, like a lot of diseases. According to the CDC, there were about 61,000 TBI-related deaths in the United States in 2019. And while a traumatic brain injury could impact anyone, the CDC says data shows some groups are at higher risk of dying or experiencing long-term health problems. That includes racial and ethnic minorities, service members and veterans, people experiencing homelessness, those in correctional and detention facilities, survivors of domestic violence, and people living in rural areas. The best treatment is prevention and, and wearing helmets, being responsible, wearing seat belt. I think the, the number one thing is, is to be careful. Don't expect something to protect you, but hedge your bets. But certainly on motorcycles, bicycles, skateboards, snowboards, etc. It's important to note the CDC says older adults are more likely to be hospitalized and die from a TBI compared to all other age groups. Still, TBIs may be missed or misdiagnosed in older adults because the symptoms can overlap with other medical conditions like dementia. For more healthy living stories, go to fox13seattle.com and click on Healthy Living.